There's no values in this question. We're just writing angles in terms of one another. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the first question, 10.1, we are supposed to prove given reasons that S3 is equal to S4, okay? Uh, but before we can attempt answering this question, let's go through the question statement so that we can extract our keywords that are gonna help us in answering the question. Okay, so in the diagram, PQRS is a cyclic quad. So now I know that I have a cyclic quad. So let me write that down as it will help me in answering the questions, okay? PQ is equals to PR, that is also important. PQ is equals to PR. Yeah, equal chords subtend equal angles at the circumference of the circle, right? Uh, the tangents to the circle through P and R meet Q as produced at A. Okay, we have some tangents, AR and AP. So let's go ahead and write that. We have tangent. We know that we have the tan chord theorem. So it is important for us to know the tangent, okay? Uh, what else do we have apart from the tangent? Okay, I think that's what we have up to so far. I cannot think about anything else. Yeah, I cannot extract anything else from the question statement. So let's go ahead and give it a try and see what happens. Okay, I had a lot of people saying that they couldn't even answer one question from question 10. Uh, I wonder why that is the case, uh, but I hope I'm going to be able to get at least one correct. Let's see. So S3 is equals to S4. Let's look at our first um, keyword. Our first keyword is cyclic quad. So let's see if we can make sense of that. Okay. We have S3 right here. So if SRQP is a cyclic quad, then S3 should be equals to angle Q. Right, so let me just write that down as part of my solution. It is something I'm realizing, so I need to write it down. So 10.1, I have S3 being equals to Q. As S3, it is an exterior angle of a cyclic quad, okay? Uh, what else am I realizing? Let me move to the following keyword. The following keyword is that PQ is equals to PR. Let's see what the consequence of that is going to be. PQ is equals to PR. So PQ uh, subtends angle R3 and PR subtends angle Q. So what does that tell us? Okay, that will tell us that uh, Q is equals to R3. Uh, that is because PQ is equals to PR. Okay, but if S3 is equals to Q and Q is equals to S3, uh, and Q is equals to R3, I mean, then S3 is equals to R3 because they are both equals to Q. Okay. Uh, I think we can say that. Okay, let's pay our attention to the chords before we can move on to any other idea. Okay, so we say that R3 is subtended by PQ. But if you pay close attention, you should be able to see that PQ is also subtending S4. Okay, so what are we saying? We're saying that S4 is equals to R3 because uh, they are both uh, subtended by uh, our chord PQ, okay? Uh, I think the right reason is that they are in the same arc. That is the right reason. So take a look at this. S4 is equals to R3. S3 is equals to R3. So S3 should be equals to S4, as they are both equals to R3, okay? If X is equals to 2 and Y is equals to 2, then X is equals to Y because they are both equals to 2, okay? Uh, so that is 10.1. Uh, 
Uh, let's move forward and do 10.2. Uh, let's hear the stories. So 10.2, let's prove that SMRC is a cyclic quan. Okay, let me go ahead and highlight SMRC. So I have SMRC. Let's make sense of this question, okay? If SMRC is a cyclic quad, then uh, this angle C1 should be equal to the angle M1, okay? Exterior is equal to interior opposite, right? And then uh, S1, so this angle S1 should be equal to angle R1 plus angle R2, okay? Uh, I'm realizing something. I'm realizing that S4 is equal to S1. And in the question above, we've talked about S4. So why not try prove that S1 is equal to R1 plus R2? Because we can just carry on from what we've been doing from 10.1. We don't have to necessarily start anything new, okay? So I'm going to start by saying S1 is equal to S4. Uh, vertical opposite, okay? Uh, let me check if it, they are indeed vertically opposite. So I have this line and I have this line, okay? S1 and S4 are indeed vertically uh, opposite, okay? And then uh, let's not forget. In the question above, we see that S3 is equal to S4. And now we are saying that s1 is equal to s4 so what does that mean it means that s1 is equal to s3 as they are both equal to s4 okay right now we can see what is happening here let's not forget let me remind you of something we see that s3 uh, this angle right here is equal to q1 plus q2 uh, that is because SRQP is a cyclic quad, okay? So S3 is equal to angle Q, exterior angle of a cyclic quad. But I want to show you something interesting. Look at R1 plus R2. R1 plus R2 should be equal to angle Q because of the tan chord theorem, okay? So R1 plus R2 are equal to angle Q because of the tan chord theorem you will see where i'm going with this you will see when i connect the dots at the end r1 plus r2 is equal to q can you see now s3 is equal to r1 plus r2 as they are both equal to q okay but what we are required to prove is that s1 is equal to R1 plus R2. But we have proved that S1 is equal to S3. So now we're going to say that uh, S1 is equal to R1 plus R2. This is because both of them are equal to S3. Like I said at the start of the question, we are writing angles in terms of each other. There is no value in this question. Okay, so let me just erase for the sake of clarity. We have proved that S1 is equal to R1 plus R2. So SCRM is indeed a cyclic quad because, so what are we saying? We're saying that uh, therefore SMRC is a cyclic quad because S1 is equal to R1 plus R2, okay? The exterior angle, the exterior angle is equal to opposite interior. That is 10.2, okay? And the interesting question, 10.3, right? If you thought 10.2 is difficult, then uh, what about 10.3? Let's take a look at 10.3. So in 10.3, we are told that RP, RP is the tangent to the cycle passing through P, S, and A at P, okay? 
So RP is the tangent of the circle passing PSA. So we have some circle right here. And we are supposed to prove that RP is a tangent, right? So if RP is a tangent, let me show you something. Uh, this is a chord on the circle, right? Uh, let me use a different color. Uh, this is a chord on the circle. If RP is a tangent, then P2 should be close to the angle subtended by that chord, which is A2. So if we can prove that P2 is equal to A2, then we have proved that RP is a tangent to the circle passing through P, S, and A at P. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. Let me erase all this for the sake of clarity and zoom in. Right. Okay, so let me see. Let me see. Let's take a look at M3. Okay, M3 is the exterior angle of triangle M. A P right M A P so we can say that M3 is equals to A2 plus P1 plus P2. This angle here A2 and P1 plus T2 are equals to M3, right? Uh, an exterior angle of a triangle is equals to the sum of opposite interior let's not forget that so we have m3 being equals to a2 plus p1 plus p2 okay we can also use m3 again we can say that m3 okay let me see m3 is equals to let's see s4 plus p2 let me erase again for the sake of clarity so we can say that uh, m3 this angle right here is equals to S4 plus P2. So what are we saying? We're saying that M3 is equals to S4 plus P2. So P2 plus S4. Okay. Uh, for the same reason, for the same reason, exterior angle of a triangle. It's just that now we are concentrating on a different angle. Okay. Right. Let's equate these two equations. I want you to realize something. If we equate uh, if we equate these two, we're gonna have a2 plus p1 plus p2 being equals to p2 plus s4. Okay, so we want to prove that a2 is equals to p2. If we can find a way to show that p1 plus p2 are equals to s4, then a2 will be equals to p2. So that's what we essentially want to prove right so let's go ahead and try doing that we already know that s4 is equals to s1 right they are vertically opposite uh, but if you look at s1 s1 from what we have proved in 10.2 should be equals to r1 plus r2 right exterior angle of a cyclic quad is equals to interior opposite so s1 is equals to r1 plus r2 exterior angle of a cyclic quad so on and so on because of the turn chord theorem r1 let's take a look at r1 r1 is equals to p2 because of the turn chord theorem right and then still because of the turn chord theorem p1 is equals to R2. So instead of saying S1 is equal to R1 plus R2, we can say that S1 is equal to P1 plus P2 because R1 plus R2 is just equal to P1 plus P2 using the turn chord theorem. So we have S1 being equal to P1 plus P2, but S1 is S4. So S4 is equal to P1 plus P2. This is because of the tan chord theorem, okay? So let's come back to this equation that you're interested in. We can replace S4 with P1 plus P2 because we have showed that S1 is equal to R1 plus R2, which is equal to P1 plus P2, and S4 is equal to S1, which is equal to P1 plus P2, okay? So we're going to have A2 plus P1 plus P2 being equal to P2 
plus in place of S4, we have plus 1 plus P2. So take a look at this. P1 plus P2, P1 plus P2. So A2 is equal to P2 because A2 plus P1 plus P2 is equal to P2 plus P1 plus P2. So A2 should be equal to P2 because of that. And this is the most difficult Euclidean geometry equation I've ever solved.